For the last year, deputies in Polk County have been cracking down on speeders on I-4. And tonight, the sheriff's office is sharing some of their traffic data with Fox 13. And it is shocking, to say the least. Get this, among the speeders they clocked, nearly 300 were spotted doing triple-digit speeds. Fox 13's Josh Cassio is live for us in Polk County, right near I-4. And I know, Josh, any of us who've ever driven on I-4, we know it can be pretty wild. But even these numbers are shocking. Allie, you're right. You know, some folks are out there treating I-4 like it's the Autobahn. And Sheriff Judd says, look, that has to stop, and it has to stop right now. He was firm today saying, if you're going to drive recklessly here in Polk County, you're going to end up more than likely in his favorite place, that being the county jail. People zigzagging between lanes. Ask almost any driver who spent time on I-4. They drive recklessly with no concern of anybody. And they'll have a story or two about their fellow motorists. There's people traveling 80 plus miles an hour. I'm on the right lane at 70 miles an hour and they're passing me all over, so. And it's drivers like that that the Polk County Sheriff's Office has been cracking down on over the last year. Newly released data shows deputies pulled over 6,800 drivers, ticketing almost 5,300 of them in 2022. And that doesn't even include the highway patrol. Perhaps even more shocking, deputies clocked nearly 300 drivers at speeds in excess of 100 miles an hour. The top speed speed limit on I-4 is 70. For those that are driving over 100 miles an hour, call your bondsman. Get ready because we're going to tow your car and take you to jail. With continued growth along the I-4 corridor, the sheriff says this crackdown is all about improving safety. As it stands, I-4 is considered one of the most dangerous highways in America. You choose to speed, we're going to choose to write you a citation. You choose to drive reckless, we choose to take you to jail. It's your choice, and then we respond. Drivers like Leo Machido agree. Anytime there's people dangerously driving on the highway, that issue should be addressed. I don't care if you're going to stop 10,000.